Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we are going to discuss about vehicle and new terrain pieces. So, I receive a few vehicles. So we start with those turn-based miniature gas tiger. So I have two of them. Uh, one with that remote control uh, dish car like uh, HMG and here we have um, we have that first turret that can be removed to place that uh, small cannon on top. So yeah, um, paint job, pretty basic, just uh, um, yeah, just basic green, nothing too crazy on those. Uh, next one we have that 150 um, dumpster truck from the brand CQ, found at my local uh, toy store. Here I found also that pretty cool truck on eBay. Uh, just added my layer of weathering on, on the rear. I actually just saw that I still need to paint um, the windows on that one. Um, next, I had this one uh, for quite a while. Not sure I, it ever landed on uh, the table because it was missing some window that I had just the other day. So now can uh, yeah that make a nice piece of terrain and i also have that new mercedes uh, truck that is also perfect for the table and uh, and yeah for vehicle that's pretty much it uh, i have a few things laying down here it's because i'm planning a demo game of specter in a couple of weeks at a local event and i'm playing a bank rubber uh, robbery uh, not not a bank robbery uh, a money truck robbery so we have the the money truck coming soon and i will show you guys that when it's uh, happening so here we have the the bandit um, the criminal gang we have uh, the police and uh, more is coming uh, so yeah stay tuned for that jumping on terrain now terrain we have that new building that building is a 3d print uh, the brand is um Corvus Games Terrain. I had to pause the camera just so I can remember it. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's a great filler for the board here. It make a, a nice junction between uh, those uh, two big buildings here. So it came obviously uh, without that thing. So this is added just with some basic uh, balsa wood. There is actually an interior, but. You I didn't really uh, took care of anything inside the interior. I just used some basic layers, so I painted the bottom part in white. Uh, the two other side here I painted in, in brick. Then uh, on top I did the same using some masking tape uh, with just a spray bottle. I, I painted that part brick, that part grey. Same thing here, brick and grey. And uh, after that, uh, the next step was just uh, gluing some kind of poster that I created myself. And so I yeah, just took some some uh, nice image from 7-Eleven, and uh, yeah, I just glued everything. So yeah, from far away, that looks pretty cool. Like when it's sitting like that, yeah, that that make a nice piece. Uh, we have, um, I just also added that, um, not stared, but you, you see what I mean. I've added that so we can actually climb on top. That could make a good position for a sniper. And, uh, and yeah, that's my new piece of terrain. And now for the next part of my video, we are going actually to um, paint. I'm going to show you all the steps to paint a new of this building. We are doing uh, the next one together. So let's jump into my garage. So down in my garage, here are uh, the next two buildings I'm going to take care of. They are also from Corvus uh, Games Terrain. What I did is just uh, paste a piece of cardboard just to um, make the interior actually playable. Then I just spray painted the whole thing with the first layer of uh, white. Then uh, that's probably going to be a weird workflow to paint. But what I actually did is that I, uh, using some masking tape, I masked 
the front and the back. Like I did here, I'm going to spray uh, the side with my Army Painter uh, full brown because yeah, I quite like um, the color it gives for the brick. So that's going to be uh, my side. And once I did that, um, yeah, I'm, that basically this will be white. I'm going to use uh, a brush. I'm going to manually paint in between uh, because I actually want all the surrounding of the window to be still white. So yeah, that's just the first time I'm going to try that. But uh, but yeah, let's see how it ends up. I already did it for that uh, first building. Once it's dry, I'm going to remove the masking tape, do that on that one too, and I will be back upstairs uh, yeah, just to paint those two faces. So that's the first building uh, without the masking tape, and now I have uh, the four brown as a small paint bottle, so I'm going to manually paint uh, the rest of the bricks. So first layer is done, I didn't fully put back to the, together the different floors, but as you can see the colors uh, works perfectly together. I'm going to wait for it uh, to dry, actually, actually I'm going to do a, a second coat in some places. Next step is uh, we'll do the roofing grey and, um, and, and yeah I also want to yeah, just add using, I will try that one, the that orange or maybe one of those two brown um, contrast, just to change the color of some of the bricks. I'm going to try to see how it looks. I'm going to use one of the brown on that front door and the back door. And yeah, that's my uh, next step. So that one is almost done. I added all the, the base color here on the side. I used some contrast paint just to give uh, quickly some variation to uh, some of the brick. And, and yeah, the next step on that one is to do uh, a, a wash with my, with my custom wash. As you remember, I'm always using matte medium and some uh, black ink. So yeah, I'm going to use my wash to wash the building. I also started painting uh, that one. So I had the masking tape on the side to paint the, um, the two other side. Here I also mask uh, the top just to paint gray uh, that area. Actually, yeah, I just saw that in here I will need to add uh, manually some paint again. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be uh, the next step. We painting that one, doing the wash on that one. So, so I've painted the two uh, building, um, just slight difference that this one have the windows in wood, that one is a, is a bit green on top, just so it doesn't look exactly uh, the same. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much done. Still need to um, change the color of a few bricks, uh, like I did on that one, and we are ready for uh, the shade. So I just apply my uh, wash, it's still fully wet and I'm still going to just... Uh, yeah, the wash is not perfect, uh, so sometimes you need to uh, to apply a, a bit of, of brush, like here you, you can see that the the wash, the paint is shrinking a bit, so as the paint is, uh, is drying, I'm just yeah applying it a bit um, more evenly and uh, and yeah that's pretty much it. I, had, I added some masking tape from the inside to uh, avoid having some paint leaking inside. I'm probably going to do the interior at some point uh, but not today. Today is just the exterior so going leave it to dry, going to do the brick on the second building. 
So, that's the look of my two buildings after uh, the weathering pass. So that is start to look pretty cool. Uh, now we add some details. So here I have a few bits that I'm going to paint based on that. I also did that sheet, um, that kind of decal sheet on Photoshop. So I'm going to cut some of those, add them on my walls, probably add a sign uh, on top somewhere. And yeah, that's going to be my next step. Okay, so showing you some of the steps. Uh, the first thing I did was to start cutting uh, my sign. That one here, I actually glued that on some really, uh, it's thicker than basic balsa wood, it's 1.5 uh, balsa wood. Uh, so yeah, that that's the sign I'm going to paste over here. I'm going to do the same for those two. I'm going to probably have one maybe up here and one on the side of uh, the second building. So that's for um, the billboard with, uh, with that piece of wood beneath. The other, like, um, like that part over here, I'm just going to cut and uh, paste it right away on um, on the on the building and what I will do at the end is just cut those uh, it's just some basic plastic card unfortunately I run out so we need to wait on next week to uh, buy some more but basically once I have um, the small paper here based on that I will just cut the thing at the same size and just add it uh, in front so it will add a nice layer of reflection in addition uh, this I'm going to add that in uh, on every interior so I'm going to um, yeah just paste uh, super glue some just to have some nice window at uh, on, on all the interior but yeah I will need to wait a couple more days to do that so that's it, just get that small piece of paper and yeah, that fits perfectly in my window framing and that, that's the entrance of my small Walmart. I may add some on uh, the side here, but it's kind of hard and maybe something also on the door, but since it's, ooh, super glue. Since it's uh, not in uh, right in front, it's a bit uh, in the building. It's a bit hard to take the measure, but yeah, we'll try maybe to add some inside. So I almost finished those two buildings. Actually, a couple of days have passed because I was waiting for an order, but that's the look of the building right now. So as you can see here, I've glued uh, the billboard on top, adding some more detail with some bricks around. Here I've added some of the posters, some of the 3D print uh, stuff like that, adding some graffiti, uh, some other graffiti, another Lucille poster for people that will get the reference, also some 3D prints on there. So yeah, that's my small Walmart. I think it looks cooler with just one um, one story on that one next to that, that three story. Yeah, that, that, will, that will be pretty cool. Uh, that one same, I have a, an AC unit here, uh, an antenna on the top, some more, uh, some more graffiti and uh, posters and another 3D print with that also iPhone X. So yeah, that's that looks pretty cool. I am pretty happy with that, uh, like that. And my next step will be just to add some glass, some, uh, some window to all my uh, windows. So I just bought those uh, sheets of plastic from Amazon. It's 0 0.2 uh, millimeter, so it's, yeah, it should work uh, fine. I will just cut that, do that on my building and show you the last step. And that's done. So here we have now the windows on uh, the building that will add a nice 
little layer of reflection so it breaks also so we don't see that well what we have inside i might paint um, the floor inside uh, brownish just wash just to fake it um, some kind of parquet but for now yeah for now that will be pretty cool so i just cut it my um, plastic in some small sheet and cut it that I the size of of my window and just glue them in place I still have that little one to do but yeah that that is done and now you have uh, yeah my full wall through on how I created those buildings hope you like that new vlog thank you everyone for watching that video and I will see you all for the next one bye everyone